This is the time of year when you bring out the grill and you invite over the neighbors and friends, and that's when you need a good salad recipe to go along with it. Here with one that fits the bill is Larry Misla from the Madison Diner, a pasta salad recipe. And I love pasta salad, but I don't make it well. You have a very simple way to do this. Right. Very easy. I have a <clears throat> using rotini pasta. Mm -hmm, which is a spirally one, spirally right? Spirally pasta, packaged uh, dressing mix and olive oil, so it's not mushy. You don't add the, you're not adding the Italian dressing from the bottle and making it all kind of mushy and it sits around for hours and gets kind of nasty. All right. So this is uh, a lot easier, healthy, nice and fresh, nice fresh vegetables. We like that, and you 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 can customize this however you want. You like yeah. carrots, carrots, celery, celery, red onions are good. You can add cherry tomatoes, asparagus. Uh, whatever you want, a little anything, broccoli, anything, broccoli, whatever. Okay. Cheese. So we have um, rotini pasta that I've already cooked, and you want it cooked al dente, which means a little bit of bite. So you're following the package directions, but you're adding. Um, Can I mix this up with my hands? I mush it up. A spoon. Spoon. I olive oil. My hands. About a quarter cup of olive oil help break this down a little bit and, and uh, not break it Ooh, down. There we get go. It all mixed up. Yeah, coats it up nicely. <clears throat> and then. What you want to add is uh, one package each of Italian, dried Italian seasoning mix, and uh, one pack of ranch mix. I would never think to do that. I would have made the dressing a side no. of this and then no. added it. But you're saying just throw it all in there. Correct. All right. It and smells so good. Kalamata olives. You can use green olives, mm -hmm. regular black olives. I'm partial to the Kalamata olive. And you slice those up a little bit, chunk yes, them up. Yes. Nice. And you have uh, some red onion you can add to it. Slice these kind of thin, some nice pieces. Yeah, they're pungent. Very good. So, see, there we go. We got this pretty salad already. Red onions, a little bit of carrot. I like the carrots cut nice and thin, little rounds. I'm breaking up your onions for you in here. Thank you. So, you're going to add about one carrot to it. Mm hmm. We'll cut half of it down. And then some celery. Same way, nice and thin. Just slice it up a little bit. You can use big chunks. You can cut this down in half if you'd like. Uh, make them a little smaller. I like nice big pieces. Gives it a good crunch. And then again, it doesn't matter. If you don't like celery, like my sister doesn't like celery. My husband doesn't like a lot of onion. He likes cooked onions. So you can add or take away whatever really you want, right? Correct. You could probably throw some beans Correct. in here. Correct. Beans, good cheese is always good in there. Blue cheese, gorgonzola, feta cheese is always Make good. Make it whatever you want it to be. But I love how they're starting to become color in here. You know, yeah. I, I, if anyone watches the show, you know I always talk about color. Color in food makes me happy because I feel like I'm getting a lot of nutrients out. If way. it looks good, it'll taste good. Isn't that true? We eat with our yep. eyes. Yep. The first thing you see when you go in a restaurant or whatever's presented to you at the table for dinner, if it looks good, it's probably going to taste good. Okay, so put this. And the yellow so there bell goes some peppers. yellow in there. You don't like green bell peppers. I do. No, I'm not, not, not my favorite pepper. Red bell peppers are good. Gives it a little more color. Orange bell peppers. And then that's it. That's it. That's really it? That's it. Okay, You're do ready we put to go. This, should I go? You want to go ahead and do that? Yeah, spoon some in a bowl. It'll keep for several days. It won't get mushy. So you can pre make it? Yep. Put it in the fridge? Keep it in the fridge. And that sounds Sample awesome. Away. I will. You can get this recipe on our website, WCPO.com. Just go to the lifestyle section and click on food. Larry, thanks as always for coming in. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it.